We just got an update moments ago on the manhunt for a serial bomber in Texas. The suspect is now dead, ending in dramatic fashion very early this morning. It's good ABC Action News reporter Lauren Rosella here with us in studio. And to this point, we don't know anything about this person at all. But Lauren, you do have an update on that. To a press conference, so we have learned just in the last 15 minutes that the suspect was a 24 year old man. Now you're looking right here at some aerial shots of the scene over I 35 in Austin, Texas. Now authorities say as they were waiting for backup, the suspect began driving away. As they approached, the suspect pulled over and detonated a bomb in his vehicle, killing himself. So far, authorities are not releasing his identity, but we do know that one officer also received minor injuries. So this is the person that they believe is behind the string of bombings in the Austin area, killing two people and injuring several others. The latest was just yesterday when a package detonated at a FedEx facility, injuring one worker. KVUE reporting that investigators used cell phone technology, store receipts and surveillance video to close in on him. And now officials are really hoping that it's going to be a lot easier for them to potentially search for more bombs when the sun comes up. They also say that there is a possibility that more suspects could be out there.